Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, The Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so um, just take what resonates, toss what doesn't, right? Don't try to force anything. And you know, you can be any sign for these collective readings, right? And this is for any signs, all signs. If you were led to this reading, there's, there's most likely something in it for you. Um, so thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything across the board that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. I love you all so much. You guys know I'm totally jazzed about this Soul Tribe, right? <laughs> I love you guys. All right, Divine, what do you have for the collective today? What messages do you have for the collective in love? Let's do a love reading, right? What messages do you have for the collective in love? Messages for the collective. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, well, this is going to be a quick one, guys. Um, there's somebody who is in a toxic situation. I feel like there's a masculine here who um, they're just, they can't take it anymore. Okay, they just, they can't. Um, they've been carrying this burden around with them for a long time. They know it's time to choose a path. <clears throat> All right, a different one. This is a masculine who is um, making a decision. They, they want something different. They don't want to be in this toxic situation anymore. It's burdensome. They're taking on um, the majority of the responsibilities in that. Um, we're going to dig into that more. But if you notice this card, right, really take a look at it, guys. Um, we can just say, oh, it's a toxic relationship and put it right back down again. But if you look at it, there's a masculine here literally chained. I feel like it's some kind of commitment, okay, that they're in together. And it's a toxic one. This is a karmic situation here. But see that them holding out their hand, they're like, hey, can we talk about this? I literally can't take it anymore. I'm getting burned here. See how the devil is burning this person. I'm getting burned. This isn't working for me anymore. So I feel like they're about ready to tell this karmic. And I have to say, um, I don't know who they're, who they're stuck with here, but I'm just going to call this a karmic situation because it is toxic. Um, they're about to tell this karmic that they want to break free. I, I feel like this person could have been in this situation for up to even 10 years um, with all the burdens that they're carrying, right? I feel like they, they may do everything in the, in, for this person. So possibly all the, you know, the, all the work, right? All the effort that this person's put in it, they just can't do it anymore. It's not what they want anymore um so yeah i feel like they're choosing the empress here and i feel like that's you collective this person's about to come forward they're about to reach out and i i know we say that a lot but um you know i'm reading the cards here they know that you're their true soulmate i feel like this person has been kind of used for everything in this situation yeah this is coming to an end you know, they've kind of been used for everything. You know, they've been used for money. They've been used for, you know, do the housework, go to work, pay the bills, um, take care of everything for this karmic individual. And they just don't want to do it anymore. The one thing that they haven't gotten out of this situation that they're in is love. That's the only thing they haven't gotten is real freaking love. So I feel like now this person wants to feel love. They can't handle the lifestyle. They can't handle um, the constant burdens, all the responsibilities, everything that they do in this car. I just feel like they're, they're being used, like back-breaking. They're doing everything in that situation. It really, uh, they just want to feel some love from their empress. You're over here doing your own thing rocking your own world you're very abundant you could be a boss business owner you've bossed up you've leveled up in your life and you're living like a life of luxury here i'm noticing this this cushy pillow behind you and I, you know what i mean you're doing really well and this person 
um, they're doing everything in that situation and they just can't can't do it anymore yeah you're about to get this offer here from this person it's been a long wait for this okay this is the slowest moving night in the deck but they're coming in very guarded I feel like um, one because they have to approach an empress I, and I feel like this person really put you through it because you don't get to the empress status you guys unless you've been put through hell you've been dragged through it um, in order to learn the attributes of every queen in the deck and you've got that um, yeah you're extremely independent and whoever they're with is so codependent that they they almost are unfunctionable like this person is doing everything in that situation and they're not getting an ounce of love they know they're getting burned but you you can hold your own okay you don't need anybody in the empress energy and this is a soulmate connection this person wants back they want your love and they know they can build with an empress all of their hard work and everything it, it it may pay off if they're with an empress not somebody who's just codependent on them yeah they want to get back together with you because you have all the qualities in a person that they want you have all the qualities in somebody that they know they can build something solid with and they realize you're their true true love soulmate connection here um clarify this two of cups high priestess energy yeah they're coming towards you here they they know that you're a blessing in love you're you're um a divine feminine here or someone who's extremely intuitive you could even be doing something intuitive for yourself here in a business and and um becoming very abundant very stable independent I feel like you you can feel this person getting ready to reach out to you. They want this blessing and love back. Okay, so what are you going to say here? They want this love. Clarify the high priestess. What are you going to do? Because you're kind of looking at me like, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> right? Yeah, because they're coming in. They're coming in. They're choosing you. And I feel like... Uh, you're just kind of sitting here, not, not moving, not budging. You may just want to listen to what they have to say, okay? Being silent, being still. Yeah, because they're going to give you an apology. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you're going to know this person is being led to you here. They're being led. They, they can't let you go. They're very guarded, okay? And they're going to be, like, this is going to be a very nervous. I'm feeling their nervousness off of this. A very um, nervous, anxious kind of apology here. But they do want love. They want love. This person wants to feel some love, man. I feel like they're tired of being used as a workhorse. Um, yeah, you could be dealing with the Virgo. You're going to be thinking about this. That's what you're going to do. You're going to be quiet. Um, you're going to be nurturing. You're, you're not going to be angry at all. This could be something that may stir up your emotions. They're coming forward here. And I feel like you may need to think about what they need, what they're saying. You're going to be like, you're going to listen to their apology, I feel. Um, you're going to listen to all of the explanations that they have, all of this communication. They're going to tell you that they want to be with you, that they want this new love back, that they want to reunite. And I feel like you're going to have to take some time and think this through. That's the feeling that I'm getting. So don't let anybody rush you, okay? Um, clarify this Ten of Wands, though. What are they, what's the burden you're not talking to them at all. There's been no communication. I feel like this person is making a decision. There's a commitment here uh, between this uh, karmic individual and your person. And I feel like they're cutting it out. They're making it, yep. Yeah, they're cutting out that. They want this new beginning. They're speaking their truth. They want this new beginning with you. I feel like this is you, collective. 
Um, Queen of Wands energy. Now, you could have been considered as the other person in their commitment, okay? But that was a toxic commitment. That was karmic. They should have only been there to learn their lessons. They learned their lesson year after year, but they just, they, they remained in it and they kept going, okay? I feel like this is a masculine who really does put forth the effort into whatever relationship they're in. They just picked the wrong freaking person. You are the one that they should have chosen and they realize that now with the Ace of Swords. You were the one. Um, and I feel like you're a warrior here and you're, you're driven. You, um, you go after the things that you want. You're not a slacker. You know what I mean? You're definitely not a slacker, but I feel like the karmic that they got with is pretty much a slacker. So it's a, it's a night and day difference between your energy and this karmic energy. And they're realizing now that you're the one that they want to build with. They, okay, they want this new beginning with you. This is a realization of who it is that they want. Realizing beyond the shadow of a doubt that they want a new beginning here with you. You know, this could be you too, having clarity. You want a new beginning also. I'm, I'm feeling like your energies are mirroring, but you're going in the opposite direction and they're coming towards you. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? They, you both want this new beginning, but you may be focused on future things. You may be focused on something new, a new journey here. You're holding, here's the thing, they want a new beginning with you, but you're holding on to your own new beginning. Do you see what I'm saying? They're moving, they're, they moved on this a bit too slow. I feel like um, there's a karmic individual around this person, the whoever they're with, who's trying to manipulate them, possibly doing spell work, watching to see if anything has been happening with that spell work. They're trying to block this person. They could even be trying to do spell work on you. Or they're watching this magician wanting to get out of that situation Put it, you know, take it however it resonates. I can see two separate scenarios here. Um, I do feel like there is a karmic out here that's been doing some kind of spell work. I, I have to say it, guys, because I'm picking up on that. And they're waiting to see. It's like they keep watching. Is the spell work working? Is it working? Is it working? But it's not. It's not working. You're still moving forward, moving up. Um, you're still balanced, you're still st uh, standing strong, confident, poised, intuitive, moving on into a, a brand new abundant beginning. So it didn't stop you, and it's not going to stop this masculine. They're coming towards you here. This is a person who's making a decision. So any kind of spell work that these karmics did, it's not working. And at the same time, they're trying to do anything that they can to block this masculine from coming towards you. But look, it's the end. Nothing they're doing is working. Nothing these karmics are doing to keep these masculines there work. Because you can't take the love out of somebody. You know what I mean? You can't. And, uh, and this, this masculine just doesn't want to be there anymore. You know, these karmics, some of them are even overloading your masculine with um, a lot of responsibilities. You know, um, the busier they are, the more their hands are full, uh, the more they have to stay. You know, it's like they distract them and pull them back in that way and keep them where they are. But this masculine wants to drop these burdens. They don't want to be with this karmic anymore. They don't. And I feel like, um, I, I do feel some spell work here. So either they're, they're doing the spell work now or they have been doing it. And they're seeing that it's not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, the more spell work they do, the more it goes back on them. And I've got the death card out here. And that's not good. If they're getting their own bad energy being sent back to them, it can, be, it can get serious. Yeah, look. I feel like it, it was going back on them. But the whole situation here. There's a masculine here that's um, 
like this tower is coming down okay it's coming down on this karmic connection and I feel like there's a masculine here that could be in bad health already they both could be all of this spell work whatever they were doing it's coming right back on them five of Pentacles they're low on their money their finances they're not I feel like they're not getting along I feel like you know the the leader here is the karmic look at how beat up and battered and spent your person is and nothing is able to grow for these people nothing look there's no grass in this picture they've got no growth they don't have abundance that tower is coming down spell work or no spell work that tower is coming down and this, you know, honestly, whoever this masculine is, they can clearly see they made a bad decision here. They clearly see they stood in between and settled for far too long. This is seeing everything clearly. And I feel like this masculine, man, they just want to feel some happiness. They just want to be loved. And they want to come to the person that they know will love them the best. And that would be you. yeah they just want to be happy they don't want to feel all these tower moments it's been tower moment after tower moment i feel like constant fighting constant being drug around this masculine can sometimes be treated like a child seriously that's what i'm picking up on here and it's just tower moment after tower moment and this masculine they're responsible for everything. They have to keep picking up the pieces. They're not getting any help or love from that karmic situation. And now all this person wants is their happiness back. And that would be you. You're the key to this person's happiness and they know it. And it's not that this person, this, this um, masculine it's not that they don't want to put forth any effort into a situation. This person puts all the effort into the situation. Like I said, they just picked the wrong person to do it with. They couldn't build. Whatever they did build with this person, it was on a crappy foundation. With you, they know they can build something solid. Because you, you, got, you got your shite straight, okay? Because you're not codependent, you can stand on your own two feet. You can float on your own two feet. Yeah, I feel like um, it doesn't matter. This person's going to walk away from this commitment, from that karmic commitment. They're going to walk away and they're going to come in and give you an apology. You're going to have to think about it, though. You're going to be asking God about it. What should I do? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I, I feel like, uh, we'll clarify this Queen of Swords energy. You've been betrayed by this person before, and they know they stuck a sword in your back. Um, you've been wanting the truth from this person a long time, and all they did was sit here and, and be upset over their losses up here. They didn't recognize you um, when they had you right there with them. They didn't recognize you as a blessing in love. And they stabbed you in the back with that sword. You know, the queen of swords, she's got the sword because people have stabbed her in the back. You gave this person your love and the queen of cups energy, and they took you for granted. They betrayed you. You had to pull that sword out yourself, collective, and heal all by yourself while they sat here and focused on something that wasn't working year after year it could have been three years since you guys have spoke could have been eight it, I feel like it could have been three years since you've seen this person after the backstabbing but they could have been in, a, in this toxic relationship for like maybe five to eight years something like that maybe ten and I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like you were considered the other person in this and you got sacrificed and betrayed and you've been waiting to hear the truth. And now this person is like, why didn't I ever come forward to give them the truth? Why did they burn the bridge with you? 
to build something feeble with this karmic. You know what I'm saying? They're realizing it now. that This is all that they regret, all that they're thinking about. And they know that they need to come to you after all of this time and try to make it right. Oh boy. Okay, what else can you show me here for the collective? Yeah, they, they never made it. I feel like when they did this to you, they could have ghosted you, you know? Um, I feel like you never heard from this person. And if you did get an apology, it was freaking lame. It was like, yeah, gee, sorry, can't, no can do. Because they were focused on what wasn't going right in their own life. Yeah, but they want this new beginning. They want this new beginning. And I feel like you've taken this new beginning. Like I said, you're having a new beginning in, into something new, right? But they want this new beginning. They want another chance with you. You may have also felt very used in this situation. You're both kind of mirroring, right? Yeah, here they come. You, I feel like this person used you. They, they maybe love-bombed you. They toyed with you, you know, got you to fall in love with them. They could have possibly um, laughed about that while, they, while you sat and suffered with your healing. Okay, just to feed their ego. Schmoozed you, they, but you know what? Here in the long run, after all, after all is said and done, this person does see you as their match. They see you as their match here. This person, I feel like they played you, um, they used you, and they were in something toxic, trying to build and work on something toxic. I don't know how, how did they even get you involved in this, though. You know what I mean? Now they're in a lot of pain because they're realizing all they did to you. Look at them looking back on it all. Okay, well, I played games with them. I love bombed them. I used them. I had in and out energy. I was really good at it. I knew what I was doing. I sat here forever while they suffered and healed on, healed on their own. How am I going to make this right? I just, I be, they betrayed themselves when they betrayed you. I'm telling you, they don't know how they're going to make this right. How did they get you in this third party? I feel like you were, um, I feel like they schmoozed you. They schmoozed you and used you and left. And now they want you back. Yeah, now they can see. They can see now because they're feeling this pain. They're, they're realizing they made a whopping huge mistake that they may not be able to come back from. So they're in a lot of pain. The same pain that they put you through, they're feeling it now. So they're realizing, oh my gosh, what I must have done to my star. Oh my gosh, the betrayal and and the pain and the hurt. And, you know, I, I feel like people may have talked about you behind your back, laughed at you behind your back, and here you are still remaining in this beautiful, loving, healing energy, okay? They're realizing the pain they must have put you through. I don't think this person really gave it a whole lot of thought um until the, i mean this is like a realization too that they need to break away from the devil and come to love they didn't realize all that you had to heal from they're seeing your strength now they're seeing what they put you through now they're really truly feeling the same kind of pain they put you through and they're in a lot of regret and they're worried that um after everything that they did to you, are you even going to give them another chance? They want to work on this. They want to try to heal this with you. But man, they're, this is them feeling guilty. That's the, they feel so freaking guilty. Are you even going to give them another chance here? You know, this person, um, they're afraid to confront all of this. But they know they need to make it right with justice. And I feel like the scales are just like hanging in the balance. You know what I mean? They're just like 
hanging there like are they are you going to give them another chance or not because they're you could be in the public eye here they've been watching you from afar they're knowing all that they put you through um yeah they don't know if you're going to give them another chance what did i say about watching you so i feel like this person's coming towards you but you're going to be very quiet picking up on all the red flags um you're going to listen you're not going to be mean or harsh to this person and you're not going to give them an answer right away either i feel like there's a part of you kind of just wants to see if they're going to actually do their work are they going to be telling the truth you know what i mean and truth king of swords energy as i say that this is somebody who does want to tell the truth they do want to speak. They're thinking about what they're going to say to make up for all of this. Okay? Yeah, getting back together. Ten of further, ten of cups. Getting you to calmer waters. Yeah, are you going to accept them? They don't know. And I feel like you're going to have to take the time to think about it because you don't trust this person after all that they did, you know. But our, uh, they don't know if they can have you back. They don't know if they're going to get this ten of cups back or have a, you know, a reunion with you. Um, but they're going to do the best that they can. This person's coming forward to talk to you. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. I've got Scorpio out here. Heavy on Virgo, i got to say. Um, you could be a Leo, Taurus, you could be an Aquarius, um, possibly Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what sign you are. Um, heavy on Pisces here too for your person. You could just have these signs in your chart, right? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra. Yeah. This person's coming forward to talk. They're going to do it. They're going to speak to you as smart as they can because they know they've got a lot to make up for here. They're feeling guilty. They're going to hope and pray for a chance because you literally, you're, they want love. And with you, they would have an abundance of it. This person wants to be happy again. They're coming towards you. Anyway, Collective, listen, that's what I've got for this quick reading. I, I hope this helps. Um, if you guys like this video, uh, click that like button, right? Subscribe to the channel. If you like this vibe, join the Soul Tribe because we rock. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.